<laughs> nice! Hey, you. What do you guys think you're doing? I've seen you three do this before, and, and I don't appreciate it. People like you are just plain... go... mean! So... go away! Ooh. Or... or else what? Uh, 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 I'll, uh, I'll, uh, punch you! I'll punch you! <laughs> like, really, really hard! <laughs> I've broken stuff with these hands before! Like, uh, um, rocks? And, and, um, this wall? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You you better run before I before I lose my patience or something. Uh Are you okay? That's good. Let me help you up. Well, well I I didn't do much. No, I I really didn't. Uh, sorry to walk out on you like this, but but I need to go. So, um, bye. Finally, lunch break. Oh, I can't wait to get back to my story. That last chapter ended on such a cliffhanger. I have no idea how Jason will get himself out of this one. Hmm? Oh, it's you! Uh, hi? Yeah, of course you saw me. The muscular green lady who towers over the rest of the lunchroom. <laughs> Listen, um... I'm really, really sorry about running away earlier. I just got overwhelmed, and I... Oh, it wasn't right. If you're angry with me, I, I totally understand. It's... What? You're not mad? But I ran away when you tried to talk to me. Sh shouldn't you hate me now? Well, I... I guess maybe I scared those bullies off, but really, it, it wasn't a big deal or anything. Uh, you, you're welcome. Oh, I don't think I'm that nice. If I'm honest, you should probably sit somewhere else. No, really, you, you should go eat somewhere else. Being around me will only make you a bigger target. You're sure you want to stay here? Or... All right, then. Uh... Um... Mmm... So... Uh, nice weather we're having! <laughs> Clear, not cloudy. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> if you haven't noticed, I'm not exactly an expert on conversation. Uh, what should we talk about? My name! Right! Names are important. <laughs> uh, mine is Rennie. I'm, uh, I'm glad you like it. And your name? Oh, it's, it's nice to meet you, too. Sorry, this is so awkward. <laughs> I'm not really used to having a lunch buddy. <laughs> no, nobody talks to me. At least nobody in the same lunch period. It's obvious, isn't it? Nobody talks to me because I'm a big, scary orc. I mean, my bicep is bigger than your entire head. Look. 
Uh. See? Really? All of this doesn't scare you off? Uh, thanks. I'm glad you like how I look. <laughs> no, no, I don't work out. This muscle is all natural. <laughs> Oh, no, take that back. You you really don't want to look like me. Don't get me wrong, it's nice being strong and all, but nobody ever takes time to get to know me. At least none of the humans do. And when you live in a town with a majority human population, that's a bit of a problem. The most I get are judgmental glances and awkward stares. Some people take one look at me and act like a deer in headlights. Actually, most of the time, I wish I could look like you. Yeah! I mean, it must be nice to walk around and not be stared at all the time. You don't have to worry about ceilings being too low or everyone assuming that you're looking for a fight. Huh. I... I guess that's true. My looks did help me scare off those bullies. Actually, that's the only reason I was brave enough to talk. At least then scaring them away was the best outcome. Unlike everywhere else. <laughs> I don't know if I would say cool. I was in way over my head there. Oh, all right, all right. Please, cut it out. You're gonna make me blush. I'm not used to this much attention. Seriously, stop it. You're acting like I'm some kind of superhero. No, no, I'm really not. I'm just a normal orc girl. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'm your superhero. <laughs> now will you please stop it? Thank you. <sighs> you are one persistent human. Mrs. Mitchell yelled at me for the wall, by the way. I told her that I just tripped and fell into it, and that seemed to get me off the hook. I, I don't like lying, but I was so scared I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> can, can we talk about something else now, please? It's not that I don't enjoy talking to you, but I'd rather just put this whole situation behind me. My book? Oh, I don't know if you'd like it. It's kind of geeky. You, you're sure? Well, uh, it's called Stars in the Middle of Nowhere. It's about a space marine named Jason. His boyfriend Cliff is also a space marine, but he was kidnapped by a group of intergalactic terrorists. So Jason went rogue and left on a mission to rescue Cliff. This is actually the third book in the series. In the last chapter I read, Jason came across an alien who knows where the terrorists are hiding. But he can't get that information without doing them a few favors. Uh, I should say, assassinations. <laughs> it's a really big moral dilemma because Jason only joined the Space Marines to protect his home planet. Actively hunting down people who did no wrong to him goes against his entire moral code but he needs to decide if his boyfriend is worth it or not. Yeah, it, it, it is really interesting. Um, if you want, I could lend you the first book. Sure I will. <laughs> Just make sure you take care of it, please. I, I don't want my book to come back with dog-eared pages and a dirty cover. Thanks. I'll bring it to school tomorrow and give it to you during lunch. Uh, is that okay? Great! Uh... I'm gonna ask something, and I'm sorry if I'm totally misreading the room, but... We just had a full conversation and are planning to meet again tomorrow. D Does this make us... Friends? I mean, yeah, I want to. But... Are you sure, though? Like, you're already being bullied, and associating with me won't help much. Uh, all right, then. 
We're officially friends! Oh, I'll be honest, this is a nice feeling. I haven't made a new friend since elementary. Oh, I guess it's time to go back to class now. Yeah, I'm, uh, looking forward to talking again, too. Goodbye, then. New friend. Huh. <laughs>